before we learn about functions, we need to make sure we understand what a relation is. A relation is nothing more than a set of ordered pairs. So in this question, it says list the domain and range of the relation. And here is a set of ordered pairs. So let's just get this straight right now, that whenever we see the term relation, we're just going to be able to substitute in our minds, okay, that's just a list of ordered pairs. Uh, it might be shown this way. Um, it might be put in an XY table. We could even be given a graph with different points being set up there, but that's all that they mean when they say a relation. What does a domain mean? Well, um, a domain is slightly different. Um, that's basically a listing of all the X values of the relation. So we look at these ordered pairs and we take all of its X values. So that's all that they mean when they say, would you please list the domain? Well, it's three, four, five, and seven. When we take a look at the, the range, um, the last thing we need to do there is be able to take a look at uh, the Y values. So two, four, negative six, and negative nine. Those are our Y values. So um, when it says, what's the range? It's our Y values. When it says, what's our domain? Basically, it's the X values. And um, again, the relation or the set of ordered pairs is just that's what's given to you normally. So let's go take a look to see how we would actually go and list that. If it said, please go list the domain, well, again, you look here and you go, okay, that just means I need to take all of my X's and I need to list them. Well, there's a, a special way that we need to do that. First off, you need to write out the word domain. Then make sure you include the colon right there. And then this is called a bracket. It's kind of like a uh, parentheses, but it's got a little bit of a wave in there. So if you were to write this out on your paper, it might take a little bit of practice, but pretty soon you can get the uh, open and close brackets. And then the last part is this. You need to make sure that when you list your X values, they're always in order from least to greatest. So three, four, five, and seven, they're actually already in order. So, okay, we're ready to go with that. So we just put it three, four, five, and seven, separate them with commas, and put a closed bracket on there. How do we go through and write the range? Well, the range again is just the Y values. We do the exact same thing, but um, if you notice this time, they're not in order from least to greatest. They're all jumbled up. So what's our smallest one? It's negative nine. So we'll write range, put a colon right there, open bracket, and then we start off with negative nine, our smallest one, and work our way up to our largest numbers, negative six, two, and four, and then close it with a bracket. So uh, when you're done, your answer should be right here on your paper when it's asking you to list the domain and range, okay? Now, there is one other aspect that we need to take a look at, and uh, it did not show up in this example problem, so let's look at the second one. It's asking you to do the same thing, list the domain and range. So our domain is 3, 3, 6, and negative 8. We're still going to come back and you know write down the word domain, put our colon and our bracket. Our smallest uh, number is negative 8, so that's there. But what do you do? when you have an x value that repeats twice. Well, you only list it once. You don't put 3, 3. Even though it happened twice, we only have to list it once. And then our largest x value was a 6. Close bracket, and we're done. Um, just to also give you an idea of what happens uh, with the range when it repeats, it's, it's not complicated. We handle it the same way. Um, here's our y values, the range. And if you notice, negative 1 occurred twice, but we only listed negative 1 one time for our list. Uh, we still ordered them from least to greatest. And um, if you can just remember those simple rules of, of the brackets and ordering them from least to greatest and not repeating any numbers that may repeat, there's no way that you can miss these types of questions.